fresh off a gig at the Grammy Awards onto officiating a mass wedding of 33 couples, you could call Queen Latifah the queen of versatility. Born and raised in New Jersey, the queen also owned a mansion here for over a decade. Considering how her career was going at the time, the actress extraordinaire decided a move to the West Coast would be best. These days, Queen Latifah reportedly keeps a main home in Beverly Hills she bought in 2005, which we'll take a look at, along with a couple other places she called home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dana Elaine Owens is far better known by her stage name Queen Latifah, and she's an actress, singer, rapper, producer, and more. Basically, a woman with many, many hats. A New Jersey native signed with Tommy Boy Records back in 1989, releasing her debut album, All Hail the Queen, with the hit single, Ladies First, that same year. On her third album, the song Unity was influential in bringing awareness to women's rights, and that record earned her a Grammy Award. While this naturally talented woman started in hip hop, she also had the voice to sing America the Beautiful, and has appeared in over 30 films, TV, sitcoms, and music productions over the years. She was even the star of her own TV talk show, The Queen Latifah Show, and one of Madison Avenue's go-to commercial stars promoting cosmetics, pizza, underwear, and weight loss products. I think it's safe to say that Miss Queen Latifah has pretty much done it all, and the hard work has earned her an estimated net worth of a cool $65 million. It seems that she's remained grounded despite all of her success in the industry, while always succeeding at new adventures and trying new things. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up, but we're the original house tour content and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at a few of the gorgeous homes Queen Latifah's called home over the years, from Los Angeles to New Jersey. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jennifer Lawrence, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Just a few years ago, a well-maintained 1920s Mediterranean bungalow in the Hollywood Hills came up for sale, which was owned by none other than Queen Latifah and her long-rumored former partner slash personal trainer, Jenna Jenkins. The pair bought the home in 2009 for $1.34 million, according to public records. This single-story bungalow was located near the base of Los Angeles' Nichols Canyon and was a gated mini compound with lusciously landscaped gardens in both the front and backyards. The quaint tradition the traditional style home was built in 1922 and remodeled to feature contemporary interiors and upgrades, an open floor plan, and modern finishes throughout. The 2026 square foot home was also complemented by French doors, a glass tile fireplace, high ceilings, and mahogany hardwood floors. There were a total of three beds and two baths, while high hedges and a fancy home automation system kept the home secure and private. Besides this, there was a separate guest quarters in the property with private entrance and remodeled bathroom. In addition to neighboring formal living and dining areas, the Queen's previous house included a tasteful skylight kitchen with black granite countertops and stainless steel appliances. The family room featured vaulted ceilings and a built-in entertainment system which could be enjoyed throughout the entire property, including the patio and guest house. There's also a library, bonus room, and a lovely master suite with large walk-in closet and ensuite bath completed with tumbled marble. French doors through the house give access to the patio and a deck off the rear has a freestanding spa tub, leading down to shady terraces and energy-saving landscaping, according to listing materials. The mature trees and tropical plants also added more privacy to the yard. Being a New Jersey native, it makes sense that Queen Latifah would own a mansion there for 12 years. In 2014, her home in Colts Neck, New Jersey came on the market for about $2.4 million. Back in 2001, the Queen shelled out about $2.1 million for this 9-plus acre spread which was about 20 miles from the Jersey Shore and almost 55 miles from Midtown Manhattan. The brick-faced mini mansion measured 7,882 square feet inside, with six beds, five full baths, three half baths, and four gas fireplaces throughout. The 23-room residence stood two stories tall at the front and dropped down to three at the back, offering a fully furnished walkout basement level. When you open the double front doors, you're welcomed into a spacious double-height foyer with a swoop 
swooping curved staircase. This sculptural banister here gives the interior a very contemporary feel. The main foyer is surrounded by a formal dining room and a multi-purpose room it seemed with a baby grand piano at the time of the listing and the foyer also passed under a bridge which connected the two wings of the upper level. There's also a step down airy double height living room which was minimally furnished at the time and offered one of the fireplaces, wood floors and full walls of floor to ceiling windows. The less formal kitchen complex is a family room and breakfast area that opens up to a small deck. While the kitchen offers a six sided center island cooktop and top grade appliances, the design is a bit ordinary when you look at the countertops and cabinets. You would think they'd be a bit sleeker to match the rest of this home. Elsewhere, there's an in-law suite and the queen's former master suite was on the upper level of the mansion. Here, there were hardwood floors, a private veranda, and some interesting angled ceilings and walls. A double-sided fireplace divides the sleeping area from the rest of the room, and there's an ornate chandelier to top it all off. Her previous attached bath had vaulted ceilings, a skylight glassed in shower, and a supersized soaking tub set in front of windows. The lower level had living spaces like a casual lounge with a built-in wet bar and an office. Ms. Latifah's New Jersey home looks like it was perfectly maintained, even on the landscape grounds. The backyard was centered on a concrete terrace with a heated Olympic length swimming pool. Despite letting go of this property, reportedly at least at the time, the Queen still owned a home in Wayne, New Jersey she bought back in 1992 for 400k. Clearly Queen Latifah has had a couple of nice digs over the years to call home. After she sold those places, there wasn't much said about where she was moving, but it's assumed she's still living in a main house in Beverly Hills. In 2005, she picked up a home here for $5.4 million that was previously owned by Steven Spielberg and Robert Zemeckis. Unfortunately, there aren't recent photos, but we do know the location and have a little idea of what the house looks like from the outside. There are also some outdated photos, likely from listing materials before the queen bought the home, but from these, we can see the place has features like vaulted wood beam ceilings and some bamboo or wood style accents like railings inside. We also know the the home is 6,780 square feet and offers 5 beds and 7 baths. There appears to be one room with a loft and floor to ceiling windows and French doors throughout the place. So I think I'm going to bring this house tour to an end here. But after looking at where Queen Latifah has called home over the last while, what did you guys think? We can assume these days she's still living in her main Beverly Hills residence she bought in 2005, but I don't know how she's decorated it recently. We also saw her two former homes, a New Jersey mansion she lived in for 12 years and a Hollywood bungalow she owned with her apparent ex. Out of all these places, which was your fave? You can rate the Queen's homes down in the comments. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs on my personal channel, so I love it if you guys like and subscribe. We'll link you my latest video. Caught Michael at work. Go, go, go. Mm. Helping Michael McCrudden lose weight. Stop it! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and let me know which celebrity houses you'd like to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!